Netflix aiming to take uh, on the big box office this uh, Thanksgiving with its release of its long-awaited film, The Irishman, on the platform today. Is it? By the way, can you watch it right this second? Yeah. I think you can because the ad changed. There's a Netflix ad right up there. It changed from it just it's streaming now, so I figured it was, it was on. But uh, will it be enough, though, to take on other movie giants like Disney? The last six months, Disney's shares have now soared 15% while Netflix uh, fell 12%. I don't know if that's a hedge or people are rotating one to the other. Join us right now to talk Netflix strategy this holiday weekend and other tech talkers of the morning is Ed Lee, New York Times media reporter and CNBC contributor. Also joining us this morning is Joan, uh, Joan Salzman. She is the senior writer at CNET. Good morning to both of you. So does this make sense to you? Three, can, can they make their $300 million back? at Netflix for making this film. I mean, this isn't about making $300 million back. This is about having Martin Scorsese's masterpiece right. with the Netflix name. I mean, the fact that Martin Scorsese has been out there talking and maligning Disney right. instead of maligning Netflix as the thing that's killing cinema, that speaks for itself. But that might be worth $300 million. <laughs> might be worth $300 million. I mean, Scorsese especially, I mean, his whole, his whole shtick has been like with Spielberg, you know, you need to see the stuff in the theaters. Theater, right. You know, it's a big picture. You know, the, the way it was shot as well, it looks like it, you have to really see it in theaters. You know, I'm actually going to just watch it at home. <laughs> it's right. just nice that you have a Netflix, Netflix account. It's this acclaimed movie. It's, it's easy. But the whole, they're moving towards this movie strategy. I mean, they're, so, they're adding movies, I, I think, a lot of I movies. I think there's a calculus that's being made, whether it's Netflix or Disney, that everyone knows that the theater window will ultimately shrink, right? right? So theater owners, they want 70 plus days, right? Exclusivity, maybe even longer. There was a negotiation between theater owners and Netflix. Hey, look, you know, can we come closer in the middle? I think they ended something where Netflix was willing to go as long as 45 right. days, and the theater owners were like, 60 is, is the lowest we can go. So it's a matter of like, what? Just Do you think there's a forcing, week? this is also some kind of grand forcing mechanism, some kind of grand negotiation that's taking place? I think, to, you know, sh to shift movies? You can't, the, here's the, the thing. The if movie the, window broadly? I think broadly, yes, but it's gonna come down to Disney, when Disney might be willing to make that shift, because right now the box office is ruled by Disney, right? right. So. Once Disney sees that, oh, this streaming thing, it's going to be the future of our business, or it really right. need to, to pump it up. So they need to figure out where's the calculus between how much shorter can we make the theater window and boost right. our, our, our streaming subs without losing too much on the, on the theater. I want to pivot to another topic in just a moment, but very quickly, on Disney Plus, right. what's your betting line on the next time they disclose subscriber numbers, the number will be what? Right, so they say, no, no. So 10 they, million, so there's 10 million signups. We know the 10 million signups. When almost everybody was a free sign-up at that point. I know, but I, I think, by the way, the Sorkin family signed up after that sign-up period. Oh. And I assume that there, there was, people would think it's like a million a day. I mean, it's crazy yeah. what's happening. So the question is, the next time you hear from them, you think it's going to be 25 million, 30 million, 20 million, 40 million? What, what's, what's going on here? I think that 20 million... If they're, I would be very surprised. Let's look at it in context. So Hulu, which is also owned by Disney, has been around right. for what, eight years, 10 years? Yep. Um, they're at, I think, 25 million. 25, 20, to close, they're a little closer to 30. And now. granted, Disney has put, they've gone all in marketing right. Disney Plus. It's very different in terms of launch. But getting to, it's very, subscription's hard. Getting to that 10 million was impressive, but right. there were all those promotions involved. They were, they were estimating at minimum about a million signups a month, right? right. So they're clearly mm -hmm. blown past that. I think it's just going to be, you know, what the churn is going to look like and how much they factor right. that into the number.